Hello and welcome to my Sims YouTube channel. Today's video is the Inverted Sim Challenge. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. Also, go find me on Instagram at MoonlightDesk56. The entire video will not be inverted. However, I did find a way to have the inverted screen um, with the regular filter as well, which made it kind of difficult to record because I had two separate recorders filming at the same time, but in the end I'm really happy that I did that because to me it's just kind of fun to see them both at the same time, especially because while I was in cast I had such a hard time trying to figure out what color would look best and I stand by my choices, however, I think it's really entertaining to be like, okay, the lime green versus the, I don't know, <laughs> the really weird bluish, grayish color, I don't know, but I had a lot of fun with this sim. After a while, my eyes did kind of hurt just because it was so bright, <laughs> but I tried to guide myself as I went along thinking that the colors that would be typically darker are now brighter so that I could try to use that as my you know balance technique I suppose for which color schemes I was gonna try to go with when it came to her clothing and her makeup after choosing her traits I believe her traits um, involve education is her aspiration and then her traits involve being cheerful goofy and genius I believe and I felt as I was going along, because of those traits and that aspiration, I really kind of envisioned her being the kind of sim that would be finishing up school or in school and would be very independent, knowledgeable, and just ready to like jump into things. Just very, um, just a very strong sim, you know? The kind of person that isn't afraid of things, you know, is very, very beautiful and doesn't even really acknowledge their beauty, just moves forward acknowledging the strength of others and their own personal strength. And I just, I felt kind of inspired by that, honestly, to like make sure that I gave this sim some justice when it came to creating her. I tried to do the inverted sim before and that ended up not working out. So I really do like that I tried again. And I think that this time around, it just went better. And I know that could be because I, it was my second attempt, but I really do feel as though this time around I felt more connected to the sim in a way as well, simply because it was like I did the traits first, and I think that's kind of what I need to do going forward when it comes to creating my sims, is to do the traits first, so that in my head I can kind of come with like an idea of who this sim is, so I can better create the kind of you know, character that she is, or he is. As I was going through, I was really surprised looking back on this, the colors that I had chosen, simply because they wouldn't be the swatches that I would normally go to when creating a sim. So I think that's one of the reasons why I really did enjoy this challenge, because it really encouraged me to branch out and try new you know, um, outfit options. I probably wouldn't have normally chosen purple pants or like that pinkish kind of pants because I probably would have done normal jeans as opposed to really trying to have it be so unique. I will say some of the colors that um, these guys, that these swatches ended up being, I was really surprised at. Simply, you know, I kind of already have talked about how I was surprised because I normally wouldn't have chosen them, but mainly because some of those color swatches really don't look that great, but I feel like every one that I chose just for some reason just really speaks to this sim. Anyways guys, here are some screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram at MoonlightDust56, so see you guys tomorrow. Bye.